Have you ever had those moments, whether as a parent or before you had kids, where you genuinely wish you could just wake up? Wake up from the nightmare that is your life. Um, are moving and it's super exciting and it should be a really exciting time because we definitely uh, deserve and have earned our new home and our space as you can see the place around us that we've lived in for a while is pretty small uh, um, but all of this is not coming uh, without a huge price tag not only the house's price tag the one that we bought but also just life in general um, to make a really long story short, we weren't even really looking for a house. We just saw a listing on Mother's Day weekend, which I think was an emotional time for me. And we went and looked at it and put in an offer, not really thinking too much about it or really thinking it through. Um, I think my emotions, like after having a baby again, like my, well, my second baby, I think my emotions were just really high that weekend and you're not supposed to really buy real estate based on your feelings and emotions, which I did. Um, anyhow, so we bought and uh, the market crashed right after. And week by week, it just continued to drop. Now, the reason that that was a problem was because we bought high and then six weeks later ended up selling low. And basically, not just low, but like $100,000 less than the other people on our street and why that's a big difference is because all of our units are basically exactly the same. Ours is large. We live in a townhouse, so there's not that much difference to all of them. Um, but week by week and as weeks went by, the prices just kept dropping and dropping and dropping. And it was getting to a point where we had to sell in order to qualify for the mortgage on our new home. Um, but we were selling for so low that it was, we, you know, it wasn't really worth it, <laughs> but we did. Uh, the day the deal went through on our new home, my husband, who had been working uh, as a talk show host for one of Canada's top national entertainment shows, found out an hour before the deal went through that his contract was not being renewed. So his income was gone. So now we have drained all of our savings and our resources, tax-free savings, like everything you can think of. We've talked to my family and his family about borrowing money and all this stuff just to make the sale go through. And this is still presuming that we have um, my income and his income. And then we lose his income completely and no backup plan. So this is like the Canadian family horror story because we have been living in a 900 square foot, three bedroom, one bathroom townhouse for four and a half years. We moved in here when it was just Rick and I and our stepson or my stepson would come and go and it was a perfect size place. And we randomly decide to make this move to a bigger house in the suburbs and finally get room and a basement and a rec room and a pool and all of this stuff for the kids so that they can have a childhood. And then the world is us or we ourselves. It's just been the worst. And every problem that you can think that this would bring into your life from stresses on your relationships with your parents and people who you're borrowing money from, stresses between you and your spouse, his emotions are in a place that I can't even really comprehend. And my heart breaks for him, but I also just like, we have to live and life goes on. And life is going on for families all around us who are in these same situations. And every time I talk to a friend or a coworker or somebody, they all know people who have gone through this or something similar. And it's time to share our stories. And it's time we have this online community and a digital way to connect and communicate with people. So I'm sharing my stress and my pain and my journey in hopes that somebody else who's going through this or does go through this sees how it transforms. And at the time of shooting this video, you can see we are still in our downtown house and it's a mess and we leave in a week. 
and I have no idea what the future holds at all. It could be good, it could be bad, it could be a mixture, I really don't know. But I'm shooting this hoping and praying that in like three or six months we look back and we were like remember when we shot that video let's watch it again like do you remember the desperation we felt and the insanity you feel in your mind because you're not sleeping and you're stressed and you're trying to be a happy positive parent but you're yelling at your kids because you the packing is driving you crazy and they're getting into everything and your finances are strained and your life is strained and there's no job and all the main factors in life are imploding around you and you're supposed to keep it together well this this is our journey of how we survived and if you're watching this hopefully you've survived yours too or if you're about to go down this road keep watching because I have no idea what's in store for my family at all at all Noah this is your last day on Sudbury Street. Yeah. Do you know your mom and Alex moved out of Toronto? We're moving out of Toronto. You are going to be a suburbanite from now on. Suburbanite. You no longer live in Toronto. Did you have fun in Sudbury Street, though? Yeah, it was fun the four years that I was here. Look at this tiny, messy place. It never looked like this until now. Yeah, that's for sure. I wonder what the new place will look like. <gasps> Look, these rascals will be there though, so they'll probably be as trashed as it always is. Yep. Did you just push him, Jack? Yeah. Did you love push. Yeah. Packing, packing, packing. We are always packing. Packing, packing, packing. Oh. If you knew how type A I am, you'd understand why this pains me, so. Packing, packing, packing. We are always packing. Packing, packing, packing. Oh. If you knew how type A I am, you'd understand why this pains me, so.